Yo, what's good YouTube? I'm back with another reaction video and I found another one of these gems, y'all. Another one of these Larry Bird teaches how to play defense. And a lot of people try to say he don't know how to play defense, but uh, I think that is false. He definitely does. Got to see these steals and everything he does and things like that. But yeah, he's about to teach us how to play some good old defense, good old Larry Legend. Let's get straight into the video. Larry, there's an old thing going around for years that you don't make a ball club with defense. You don't get the big salary with defense. And I think that's a lot of bunk. I think if a coach knows what he's doing out there and a guy knows how to play defense, he could contribute to that ball club. Well, that's true because uh, I think uh, from playing on the Celtics that we get a lot of our easy baskets because we play great defense. Once you slap the ball away or you intimidate a shot or, or you get uh, a long rebound uh, or make a guy kick the ball out of bounds, we run off the, the mistakes they make, and defense causes them. Well, your defense triggers your offense. But basically, in playing defense on a man-to-man -man situation, you've got to have determination You've got to be willing to sacrifice your offense because defense is work. It's hard work. And the guy that works so hard, he has to give up part of his offense. There's no question about it. But the guys that go out there and just talk about uh, the defense like from a standpoint of a full-court press or a man-to-man -man defense or a two-man trap or all those crazy defenses what does it work that's true uh, to, you can play any defense and win you know the points you made about guys sacrificing their offense for the defensive end we got um, prime examples on our team dennis johnson is a great defensive player he's a ball hawk he gets all over the ball and he anticipates a lot of offensive moves and enable him to make a good defensive play he's able to force key mistakes by the other team because he has Good basic defensive maneuvers. Here Dennis Johnson guarding Danny Ainge is going to show us how to play good individual defense. Basic defense. There are three to four very important parts you need to know. First is your arms distance away from your man. Second is your stance. With your shoulders in line with your knees, everything in line with your feet and you're in a crouch position. The third, the most important, you need to know your man's strength. If he's better going right, you like to push him left. And as he goes that way, you slide your feet or shuffle your feet to try and catch up to turn him back the other way. And as he gets closer into the bucket, you want to body up a little closer to make it harder for him to get the two points. All right, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Uh, Dennis, I was watching you, and I was watching your feet in particular. Do you advocate guarding a man with your feet parallel? R.I.P. DJ, man. R.I.P. the DJ, man. Crazy. Oh, or would you like the balance where you have one foot forward? Uh, never straight up. I think always your feet, whether you're shading him left to the right, should be always forward, either this way or this way, to control the offensive player. You notice how his back is straight and his head is up, how he's concentrating on Danny. Now, that's very important. Also, we like to have one foot forward so you get the good balance and you can move easier laterally. Playing basic defense involves staying in the right position. It's very important that you learn to watch your man, study him, and then be able to tell from his position what type of movement he's going to attempt. DJ will show us how it's done. 
As he jabs to my right, you take a step back. And to the left, my left, you take a step back. As he pulls the ball back up for a shot, you take one step forward with your, with your body in front of him. When he puts the ball down, you know he cannot shoot the ball, so you back into your defensive position. Sometimes you're not going to be in the position to play the man with the ball. More than likely, you're going to be in what we call a helping defense. That's with the ball at the top of the key, you guarding your man out at the opposite side of the key. And what you would like to do is be somewhere near the middle or check up. And if your man breaks towards the bucket, you would like to take one slide back, pivot around, and deflect the ball down. Everybody wants to steal the ball. But it can be dangerous to try because more often than not, the offensive man will go by you and get free. Or you might even be called for a foul. Here, DJ describes the right way to go for a steal. As I'm playing my regular defense right here, at no time at all I'm ever thinking about stealing the ball. I'm trying to lead the man into a point of help or the best position I possibly can until that man crosses the ball across his body. And if that happens, I reach out, I flick my wrist without making contact and steal the ball. As a defensive player, you have to learn to react to picks and screens. And this involves communication and the basic defensive switch because the offensive man sets the screen and the back man on the defense calls the switch because he can see the play develop. Notice that DJ drops off Larry to help out in the middle, but that he stays within reach of the passing lane. As I said, pick left, pick left, I think that the back man should call the switch because he can see the play. But Larry disagrees. I think it should be the man getting picked because only he can tell if he can fight around the screen, which should be his first priority because it avoids a lot of mismatches. Well, I'll tell you, as long as you're talking and you have good communication, I'll agree, maybe both systems could work. On the Celtics, we gear everything towards the middle to Kevin McHale and Robert Parrish, who are great shot blockers. It takes up for a lot of slack on my part because I'm not a great individual defense player. I'm a team defensive team defense, player. Yeah. And um, I think you can work them together. And uh, when DJ's man beats him, I'm there to help him. When my man beats me, Kevin's there to help me. And it's not always all individual. You know, you can work around the team aspect well, of it. You know, you know, you know hey, today when scouts go out, they come back with a lot of X's and O's and the drawings all around there. This play, that play. To me, that's a lot of bunk. If you are concentrating and talking to each other and seeing what's going on, you could stop any play that way. You don't have to memorize the play because they could double cross you That's true. and have a, a reverse. That's right. Once you're geared to go in one way all the time, all of a sudden they put that extra little uh, back door play or something in there, it's going to mess you up. But speaking or talking on defense is a very important part. Robert Parrish is the best I ever played with. He's always talking on the defensive end. He never says nothing on the offensive end, but he's always talking on defensive end to help you out, and I think it's very, well, very you know, important. You know, Larry, there's an old saying, when you're tired out there, but you're so good that the guy's got to be out there, you never rest on defense. If you're tired, you rest on the offense. That shows you how important defense really is. Buck Williams is down low post. Kevin knows he's got all kinds of help to the middle. Buck gets the ball, looks. Jerry Sisting comes down to double team. He throws it back out to the top of the key. As the ball is thrown back into Buck Williams, I anticipate the pass, steal it, look up court, see DJ open, throw the baseball pass for an easy layup. Ooh, that was, ooh, 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 I got goosebumps. That was a really good video right there, man. That's just, it's just crazy how you can really get into their, like, whole team of everything and what they do and just, like, yo, man, I'm, yo, that was, that was a good one right there, y'all. Teach you how to play defense. I gotta find some more of those videos, see if I can find some more on that channel. Um, shout out to... Dana, you should give me some good videos to do, so I definitely got a lot of good videos coming. Um, yeah, that's about it, man. You got some videos you want me to do, leave them down in the comments down below. Or you can send them to my email at thatfullyboyna at gmail.com. And I'm on to the next video, man. I deeply appreciate all love and support.
deeply appreciate y'all so much. But yeah, we, that was a that was yo that was man that was a really good one right there. Really good video. Damn, that was this is oh man, crazy. But yeah, man, subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Turn on that bell, man. I'm uploading every single day. And on to the next video, man. I love y'all. Peace.